Hello, can anybody hear me? This is a test. This is only a test of the John in the morning broadcast system. Is anybody there? I just, can you hear me? What? Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? This is a test. Does it work? It works. Yeah, that's the main thing. This works. I don't know if it works. Yeah. Wait, let's test the sound. Can you hear me? Does the microphone work? Testing. Testing. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, do what? Sorry, you're getting ready for a telephone conference with the doctor. Yeah, been up for a few hours. That's why I look like this. My eyes are blurry. I cannot see nothing. Oh, yeah, take care, Ricky. Right on, Bob. You guys are the best. Yeah, Robin, how's it? Okay, now we can talk story. Because I can take you on this journey with me. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm scared, bro. Scared. But, you know what? I'm resolute now. I'm strong. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do them for me. You guys, making an investment. You're saving my life. I'm going to make sure I live my life right, and I'm going to be there for you. A lot of you people, you don't know my story. You don't realize how much I've hit it for years. But um, super scary. So if you get questions, let me know because that's what I need to do is share the story with you guys. I'm going to take you on a journey all the way to the operating room. And if I don't get up off of that table, then whatever. But hopefully I come out real good, you know, right? I'm hoping for the best. But you never know what's going to happen. I got a call in a few minutes with the doctor. And uh, hey, hello, how's it? How's it? How's it? This was mainly a test. I was going to dress real nice while I put on the tie and everything. But honestly, if you guys got questions, a lot of people, I will say, honestly, I'm sorry <clears throat> to some people out there that maybe they don't understand when it gets very frustrated. And they don't, maybe don't understand how much you struggle to breathe and just survive. <laughs> and I get frustrated sometimes. And people ask me questions, and it's irritating once in a while. But you know what? I'm going to be there now. I'm going to tell you my story. 15, almost 15 years ago, I couldn't even breathe. And I got this illness. And I'll go into what that was all about. But I have an amazing journey to share with you guys. And, you know. Most times I share my story with people, they start crying right away. I don't even share. I don't want to be known as the guy with the sick heart. I didn't want that. So I wanted to be known as a guy that was a good producer, good leader. And uh, now it's time to be real. You know, thank God I had a background in medical and pharmaceutical because it saved my life. And I'll just say this much. For those of you who don't know what happened to me, you can look at this GoFundMe thing and you can see my heart doesn't really beat. It goes like this. It's supposed to be going like this. Yeah, but it doesn't. It just kind of does that. And the blood circulates round and round and round. Because uh, anybody can get a chest cold. There's something that's an infection in your chest. And it can move right into your heart, which happened to me. And this was it, when I was 37 years old. This was 19, or oh, sorry, 2005. And... Within a matter of weeks, the heart became inflamed and the body torches its own tissue like napalm to get rid of that infection and destroys its own self. So because of my background, I knew to go to the emergency room. I was doing chain stoke breathing, which is this. <laughs> and when you, we see that in a cardiac unit, and I used to be a respiratory therapist, you know immediately to call code 500, code blue, because the next thing that's going to happen is cardiac arrest and death. So you, I knew that. So I went, and they told me, Sean, you, you have a severely enlarged heart, and the ejection fraction was only 12. I never saw anybody live with 15 and below. I, I see you. Never did. So the fact that mine was below 15 right to begin with, I knew I'm in big trouble. 
And then I, I couldn't even sing one song the, the first month out. I was like, remember when the days were long? <sighs> I just gasped for air. It took me six, six, count them, six months if I could sing that song all the way from the beginning to the end. And I'll sing it for you later. And then it took me six more months to sing one song, just standing up one, one song. So it's been a long journey. And for me, it's like a Sherpa being at the top of a mountain with a little bit of oxygen and in a harsh environment. And that's how I'm able to survive with this extremely low cardiac function. But my back's up against the wall. I promise you, I'm scared. I cry my eyes out because I'm, I'm going to miss you guys. And uh, I got to do it now. It's time. It, it, you lose a little bit of cardiac function every year. And I don't have any more to give. And for real, it's scary getting through the days and sometimes waking up in the morning just harsh, harsh. And I hide it really well. So if you guys have been a little bit confused and frustrated with me, sorry. I love you guys anyway. But that's my excuse as a desperation. Yeah, for real. And it's, it's heavy. You know, but anyway, I'm gonna take you guys on this journey with me. We're going together to the Dominican Republic, get stem cells, and uh, you know, I want to be an advocate now because it's very difficult to get things through the FDA because of the pharmaceutical lobby. And I work at the high, 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 high levels of pharmaceutical, so I know. Yeah, I'm 51 years old. I'm older than you might imagine. I did a lot of things in medical and pharma. So thank God for that. And thank God for the music. I got some relic of Mother Mary Ann Cope over here that helped save me emotionally and spiritually. And most of all, I get you guys. And that's why I do it. Because I get to spend time with you and share the aloha and the love that we share. And I see like guys like Ricky out there, like, I love the music so much. And that's why you see me so pumped up. Yeah, because that's what's helped me. Hey, bye. Love you too. <laughs> you guys are awesome. But really, I, this was a test. I'm going to have to take this call from the doctor pretty soon. It's supposed to be uh, t 9 o'clock. They're in um, Florida, Dr. Grecos. And they're awesome. So this is a lifesaver. Thank you for my Naruto telephone for saving me and I owe each one of you guys a debt of gratitude and I promise you that you're helping to keep me alive that I can help keep you alive too whether that be emotionally spiritually physically whatever it takes and I promise to be an advocate that was one of the promises I made that if I stayed alive that I would never let people forget the motherly love of St. Mary and Cope and my mom and uh, you know I was put here for a reason so I won't fulfill that promise that I made. I've been hiding it. But no, no more hiding my spirituality. Super spiritual. How you get through life with something like this. You, you cling to the divine, I promise, every day. And I've been hiding it. And I've been hiding my disease too. But I love all you guys. You know that. And uh, you're my reason for living. I will keep on living for you. Okay? Yeah. Aloha oi, until we meet again. I was going to bring out the ukulele, but I never plan ahead. You're my angel. I can almost sing again. So I'll see you guys soon. I got to take this call. Love you. No more, no more, more. Okay. Thank you. And Robin, thanks for making everything possible. For real. Yeah. And uh, without you, gosh. We came a long way, yeah, Robin? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. So cool. Hi. Yeah, you guys. I'll catch you later. Keep this one strong. This body fiber later. Yeah, hopefully I won't need that any soon. But I'm excited. I was shit, you know, I was freaking scared. Yeah. But I'm not anymore. I made a commitment. I'm going to do this. All the way. Okay, guys. Ivan. Wow. All the way to Copenhagen. What's up? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do music next time, okay? I gotta take this call and later on. Yeah. Rain or shine, ugly, shave, not. I brush teeth, though, look. Ha! Ah, Check smell. Good, eh? Wintery fresh. 
always a clown. Okay, guys, you gotta go. Love you guys. Okay, bye.